everybody, this is Praxis and I'm back on site again today. Amber's also here, you might be able to hear her using the sanding machine up on the top floor. Hopefully she'll be able to finish up all those floors today. Uh, but what I'm doing is continuing where I left off yesterday. As you can see, I've got across the doorway here and I had to actually stop here. I, I had more time, I could have done more yesterday, but I ended up uh, having to stop because this wire needs to needed to be in place. Uh, we already got a rough electrical inspection. Everything for the house was set and approved, but this is something that we want to kind of add to the greenhouse later on in order to be able to have light switches on either end of the greenhouse and to have a light switch for a light out on this porch area. As far as the electrical inspection was concerned, at least earlier, you know, that was just like the house and this is like some future thing. But I really needed to add the wire, otherwise if I put all these boards up, I was going to bury it and then we'd have to pull the boards off later. So what we're doing is we've run the wire, uh, and uh, in order to run the wire I had to put on some extra foam. Some of these other foam panels were missing, so I had to put those foam panels on. I had to do all this other stuff, which I was going to have to do anyway. But, uh, you know, it was just like I wanted to put this board on, but before I could put this board I had to put the wire. Before I put the wire I had to put the foam. Before I put the foam I had to put the strapping. So I had to do all this extra stuff, I, and actually interior wall boards in here. Uh, just to get back to the point where I can put the next board up here. So I'm just about to do that right now. Uh, this is the board that uh, fits in here. And uh, at the bottom, I want them to hang about three quarters of an inch below this attachment surface. So I made this little thing that's going to tuck up underneath. And this is going to touch the surfaces down there. Which means I can extend the boards by three quarters of an inch beyond it. So I'm going to just kind of roughly get this in place here. This board here is a little bit twisty. Let me get this out of my way. All right, so first I want to get it correct vertically. And that's what this thing's for. All right. I'm not that worried that much about uh, the side to side of it at the moment. I'm going to fix that later. But at the moment, right, right, for right now, I just want to get it uh, correct in terms of its verticality. So screw in there. I'm really liking these uh, decking screws that I'm using. They're star head decking screws. They've got a little star head for driving it. The driver bit stays in really well and uh, they feel nice and secure going in there. All right, so I've got it set this way, but it could totally fall off. I gotta be a little cautious about it here. The next place I want to go is to really secure it up into this corner because this is as far over as this one can come. It's a little unfortunate. I wish I could get it a little bit further this way because I've Got another run of boards here. I may have to put like a little spacer in later on. It's unfortunate that it was so narrow. When you're working with stuff that's that narrow, it's not as strong, but you know, you do what you can. All right, here we go. All right, so at this point, it's not going to fall off off the uh, wall. And the next thing for me, this is a bad ladder. Uh, the next thing for me to do is to make sure that it's nice and plumb. Nice. So notice it's a bit of a gap up at the top there and I didn't grab my level but I gotta get my level I'm gonna take my level put up on the side here make sure that we're nice and plumb uh, you know going down this may have to swing out a little bit and I'll just pull this and then resync it there but that's the idea I've got another board ready to go right next to it and then I've got I don't know it looks like an, at least another six boards that are gonna be pretty easy until we have to start cutting around these windows and everything Anyway, that's what we're doing today. We still got nice weather, so we're taking advantage of it. That's it. Thanks for watching.